She faced lots of backlash for performing. Are you still proud that you did it? I am still proud because I now get to tell myself my name goes down on that long historical list of people who sang at the inauguration. It was a huge honor and just an experience I'm never going to forget. Many of her fans won't forget either, some vowing not to forgive. Do you think the backlash has affected your singing career? I think that it has affected certain things like my fan base because of where I stand politically. Do solemnly swear. The criticism even got personal, much of it stemming from the Trump administration's early record on gay rights. Stay the night. Which some argue puts the teenager at odds with her own transgender sister, Juliet. It got really mean. People were saying that I was a word I can't say live um, <laughs> because I chose. President Trump over family supposedly because of the whole um, LGBTQ controversy. People that were that vicious. Yes. Well, seeing my sister uh, go through all of the hate mail, it broke my heart because the way Jackie looked at it, it was nothing political. That backlash documented on TLC's new special about the family. Growing up, Ivanko. Dear Jackie, I really admire your angelic voice, but I'm deeply troubled by your associations. She's got to be careful. You can't not stand up for what you believe in because you're afraid that you're not going to sell another album. That. It's an up-close look at a thoroughly modern family, spotlighting Jackie's singing career. Standing on stage, it's definitely an escape. And Juliet's transition. Ever since I was little, I've always known that I was a girl. The only problem was my body didn't match my brain. Two teen girls finding their way. You're 17, mm -hmm. you're 19. Mm -hmm. Sorry to get too personal. We dating? We got boyfriends? Yeah. What's going oh, on yeah, here? We, we yeah. got boyfriends. We have boyfriends. Yeah. I didn't think that I would ever be in a good relationship. And I never thought that um, a boy would see me for who I really am. <laughs> A lot of people always come up to ask, are you gay, are you straight, are you bi, or what are you? And I finally just deemed the term Juliet sexual. <laughs> so it basically kind of means I'm with Juliet, you can take that at its worth, and I don't care what you think about that. So you do all your recording in here, right? Yeah. When we last met the Ivanko family, my colleague Juju Chang met up with both sisters. That's Dream With Me. Yes. So these and are singles? Just days before Jackie took the stage, the storm of controversy already brewing. I am doing this for my country. I support my sister 100%, and I think it's a shame that this has people questioning that. Her sister Juliet was preparing for her own milestone. Normally we'd go out and support Jackie, but this is a big moment for Juliet. We're just uh, going to have um, her SRS procedures done, sex reassignment surgery. Mom Lisa would be with Juliet at the hospital. While Dad Mike and the two younger children would go to D.C. to cheer on Jackie. Ever since she first came out, I've always been really excited for this day for her. So I guess we both just wish we could be there for each other. You're getting teary-eyed. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I love her. She's my sister, and I'm happy. You're happy for her. <laughs> yeah. A lot has changed in six months. Jackie has since released an album. Juliet is an activist, but politics still seem to get in the way. I'm actually really excited to meet Senator Casey. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's going to be like such a big deal because we're going to like, you know, help people. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. I haven't made my decision completely. Are you kidding? No, I just need more time to think. And it would help a lot of people. I know, Julia, and I, that's why I want to do it. But I, I have to take other things into consideration. Do you worry about being political? There are things that I have to worry about because my singing is like my family business. And, um... As much as I wish I didn't have to, I do have to just consider what I say because some people can take it the wrong way and turn it into something it isn't. But what they do agree on, standing up against President Trump's recent transgender military ban. Candidate Trump said that he was supportive of LGBTQ rights and now President Trump has tried to remove protections for transgender people, for bathrooms and from military service. 
What do you make of this? I try my best not to think about it too much, even though I, I mean I have to. Because I it's do, personal for exactly. you. Exactly. I want everyone to just be happy and feel equal. Going through the lawsuits with my school district, it was heartbreaking. Knowing that people still don't see me and so many other people in my community as normal people um, who can fight just as hard in the military, who are just going to the bathroom, they make it this big issue and there's no reason for it. You both said that you wanted to speak with President Trump about transgender children, people. What do you want to say to him? We really just need to fix it. Mm -hmm. Things need to be equal for everybody. You can't exactly be comfortable and happy in your own skin when you have all of these restrictions on things everybody should have. Your rivalry kind of comes out. They are sisters who have each other's that? back, but who remind um, us that in the I end... I think the best part about our family is we're not afraid to be who we are. <laughs> They are simply just another family. When you talk about your fan base, you know, you lost some, you've gained some. What do you want your fans to know about your life? Everything that I do, I take seriously. And there are reasons that I have that they're not always going to understand. And I will never turn my back on my family no matter what. And they're number one for me. I would give up my career in a heartbeat for them. For Nightline, I'm Deborah Roberts in New York. Up next, the story of Diana.